Hey y'all, it's Sue. I'm just on here to tell you a little bit about what I do have coming up. This is just a little introduction to it. I just wanted to talk about the things that are going on. Um, just our millennial generation again, you know, I'm big on that. Big on our mindset, big on what we have going on, just like physically, emotionally. Um, I read this post early and it was just talking about how we be waiting for all of our ducks to be lined up. We always... You know, we always wait for that perfect time. I'm guilty of it because I wait for that perfect time to network, that perfect time to go ahead and start something, that perfect time. And it's just like, the time will never be perfect. So we just have to do it. And I think that's really what, you know, I hope this inspires people. I hope this is, you know, the things that I do have upcoming. I hope you guys tune in. Just because it's just supposed to give you a little bit of motivation. Like, you're not in this situation by yourself. And I want you to know that, like, don't think, like, why is this happening to me? You know, be grateful that it is happening to you, happening to you now, rather than happening to you later and there's no solution for it or you can't come up with one. Like, I was in the gym earlier and I was like, why not do this video? But then I'm like, yeah, I'm so for it, I'm so for it. But then I'm like, hmm, if I do this, well, what if people think this, people think that? But then it's like, they don't have to watch it, you know? So it's like... It's okay. Just start something. Just whatever you want to do. You know, we always have these problems and we look at the bad out of all of it, but we never look at the go the good. Excuse me, the good. And as you know, this video is straight raw. You're getting the unedited version because I like to keep it real. I just want to make sure you guys know how uh, authentic I am and I'm going to be with you guys. So this is, again, just really inspiration, motivation. If you're going through a hard day, Listen, find that stress reliever. If it's for me, it's cleaning and going to the gym. It might be for you, might be shopping, might just be going for a walk, might be doing something. But when you're going through something, just separate yourself, you know, evaluate yourself. I feel like a lot of us have inner feelings, inner, you know, trauma, any drama, inner drama, all of that. Like, we need to woosa, woosa. Like, we really need to woosa. But we need to meditate. If y'all not meditating, y'all got to get on it. I need to meditate every day. You really should. It's just a suggestion. But you should try it. Laying down. Uh, sitting up. Opening up. You know, your different chakras and stuff like that. But I just, you know, I want to help y'all mentally. Um, and then me expressing, like, different things to y'all is helping me open up too. You know, it's helping me uh, work on myself. And I think this is something that's big. I feel like we look for other people to help us be happy or we look for you know other people to help us this and the third but it's like we can really help ourselves now don't get me wrong always reach out for help when it's needed i think we are in that you know we grow up grew up in that generation where it's like be strong be strong and we never reach out for help you know i just saw this post someone i know wrote basically a suicide letter and put it on instagram and I think that's what really hit me too because it's like you really don't know what somebody going through. This person said they was going through this for like seven years. And it's like, dang, like, did we reach out? Are we reaching out to our people? Are we saying like, are you mentally okay? Like, do you need anything? Um, it may not always be money or be materialistic. It could be just word of wisdom. It could be, you know, I just come sit on this bench with me, meet me at so-and-so. You know, I just want to talk about it. And that's the thing, we're not talking about enough. We're not helping, you know, each other give friendly advice. So I think we need to start holding each other accountable on our mental health. We need to start being there for one another. You know, we see so much, we hear so much, we watch so much. But we need to be within ourselves for a little bit. Not saying be alone, not saying don't talk to people. I'm just saying be happy with yourself. Be happy in the position, the position that you're in. Somebody always has it worse than you. Somebody didn't wake up today. Somebody may not wake up tomorrow. Somebody, you know, just had a passing in their family. So it's like, yes, you're going through something, but what can you do? If you need to go into that space to think about what you need to do, then go do it. If you know, maybe you don't know what that space is. So you need to get out your comfort zone. You need to go somewhere, you know, step out. If you're always in the house, step out the house. Go on a little walk. Maybe you don't want to go on a walk. Go on a bike ride. Maybe you don't want to ride a bike. Maybe you don't want to exercise. Go walk to the mall, but don't buy anything. Leave all your stuff, leave all like your credit cards, cash, all that in the house. So then you can't buy anything. So it's like, 
I'm just here to help you provide some solutions, some suggestions, because I know we can all get there because I do myself. So I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from, you know, certain things that I have gone through. And I just want you guys to know what may work for me, may work for you. If it doesn't, cool. But also, I will have content on some uh, people who have been through some things and how do they push through it that also may help you, especially millennial generation. Um, I know the young cats coming up too. I know they be going through things. Um, and I know at anybody, anybody at any age can go through something. Don't say, oh, they're too young to go through that or whatever the case may be. Everybody's life is different. Everybody grow is growing up differently. Um, this new world is completely different to what we grew up with. But I want you guys to really step out your comfort zone. I really want you to, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel and be ready for the material that I am going to put out because, I, again, I hope it is, you know, helpful for you. I hope it does help you. And I want to be able to help you within your inner self and be a better person, not only for you, but for everybody who you actually love to catch y'all later.